All right, so we're going to work on also. I went to the store. So ran a mile of the track. So before coming home tonight to do dishes, I went to the store. I also ran a mile of the track. Well, it seems uh, it, it, it could be somewhat vague. Because... You know, um, how can you run a mile when you have groceries? <laughs> Seriously. Seriously. Um, so it's just a little bit vague. It's a little bit vague. So this situation, <clears throat> um, you might want to say, went to the store and ran a mile off the track. I forgot when I was judicious, I went to the store and ran a mile off the track. It's probably, you know, 90% clear. Right? Like if I was to put a percentage here, it's 90% clear because, you know, as far as the timeline, it's store, right? Track, mile run. And then home. Alright, so this is this is sort of the timeline. So I think that also might not be too good here. Let's find a place where we could use also. We could say um, We could use not only, but also, right? This is a gr grammatical construction that is very common. And it fits. So you could say, not only is my brother great at gaming, but he also, <coughs> um, Arrives in the classroom as well, right? So he's, he's good at he's great at being a student as well, right? And so you don't have to say he also is great at grades as well, right? So let's let's kind of go over some examples of sort of how to construct, you know, what are better sentences and what are worse sentences. But he also, um, he is also great at academics as well. But he also does one school. well okay so academia I'll address first so academia it's a little bit vague because it could be could be a teacher could be a student um, as my brother could be teacher or student or long shot chance of him being in administration in academia right so it's probably a teacher probably a student but it could even be an administration so 
um, it, it's decent. It's decent. Um, I still think it's a little bit vague. So, let's look at, um, let's look at this. Not only is my brother great at gaming, but he also does well in school. That's pretty good. Um, clear. But, you know, a bit drab. It's just a bit drab. Right? It's just very, like, functional, sort of simple construction, you know. Uh, let's try this one. So I would say, as far as as far as the what I would pick, I would actually pick this as number one. Because you could also say he thrives in academics. He thrives at academics. Which doesn't really make sense. But he also thrives in academics as well. Um, this just seems wacky to me. You know, this just seems wacky to me. Like I don't, I don't like either of those at all. He thrives at academics. I guess thrives at academics works grammatically. He thrives at academics, but it's it doesn't sound very good, like phonetically. Um, thrives in academics. I think I think this is grammatically wrong. I'm pretty sure this is grammatically incorrect. He thrives in academics. He could thrive at academics. Um, it's just, this is just awkward, right? It's just awkward. So, I don't like that. I don't like that. So, let's move these. So, this is, this is easily number two. My, my second favorite construction of this. So, let's go over why this is number one. Not only... Well, no, let's do number one last. Let's do number one last. So let's go number three. I like this a lot. It still works fine. And number four. Okay, let's go over number four. Not only is my brother great at gaming, but he also thrives in academia as well. Um, it's actually, it seems like it would be phenomenal. It seems like it would be really a great sentence, but when you get further scrutiny, um, it's a bit vague. He, the brother could be a teacher or a student or maybe even administration. So it's so that sentence in and of itself is a little bit vague. Let's do number three. Not only is my brother great at gaming, but he also does well at school. In school, it's clear, it's good. Um, it's a bit drab. Um, and again, looking at this, this is still solid. I mean, all four of these can be used. All four of these are solid and clear and grammatically correct. Um, but it's just a little bit drab. Now, it doesn't mean you can never have a drab sentence. It just means you don't want to like sprinkle your your paper or your editorial essay or your article with all these drab sentences you want to be very picky and say all right this is fine this is fine this is drab but number two not only is my brother great at gaming but he is also great at academics as well now i like the fact here great at gaming great at academics i actually like the fact that that is sort of parallelism like those phrases parallel each other um I think it actually works well here. Um, you got not only but also, and it just it seems it seems to roll off the tongue. It seems very strong and confident. Um, I like it. I like it a lot. Uh, this is my my favorite, and mostly for a different reason other than this. So the fact that these are the same is actually kind of good because you've got a not only but also. It's a little bit of a complicated sentence. It's a short sentence, but somewhat complicated. With this grammatical construction, um, not only but also grammatical phrasing, but I like the fact that we've got something a little bit unique, a little bit creative, a flourish. Not only is my brother great at gaming, but he also thrives in the classroom as well. Um, now, the real number one 
Now this would only be number one if if the main subject of the piece um, is gaming or like fun activities, right? If that's if that's the main subject of the piece, then it fits because it's like, hey, my brother, you know, I love video games, and here's why. Here's some of the games I like. My brother. You know, introduce who my brother is, and then oh, my brother loves gaming. Oh, and by the way, he's also great as a student. So it's like, oh, okay, so that's a nice foray. However, if the main subject of the piece is uh, school, like scholastic activities, then this sentence is number one. And that's going to be uh, okay. So number one would be not only not only does my brother not only does my brother thrive in the classroom. Also, this is actually a case where he's actually sounds good. But he's also great at gaming. Yeah, j just because of how it sounds. I mean, you could say he is also great at gaming, but it just it sounds a little bit kind of I don't know. It just changes the sentence a teeny bit. It sounds a little bit drab. He is also great at gaming. Like it just sounds a little, you know, if if you're sort of I don't know. I just think it sounds a little bit more conversational without being like pedestrian and, and lowbrow in terms of grammar and, and sentence construction. Not only does my brother thrive in the classroom, but he's also great at gaming. Um, so if you're, you know, if you're writing this long piece or this longish piece about about academics and and how you're doing in school and how your brother does in school and all that stuff, and then you're sort of wrapping it up, and then you're describing your brother, then you might want to say that my brother thrives in the classroom, but he's also great at gaming. Um, now you could say as well, he's also great at gaming as well. Um, and I think it works better. Um, <clears throat> you know, like here you use the word well, does well in school. Shit, you're not going to say does well in school as well. Like that doesn't, that doesn't make sense. It just seems like it's just redundant overkill, right? But it sounds better if you say as well. Um, you know, it just it it like intensifies the fact that those are contrasts, but that that that, that this is also adding. Um, either one is fine. I think either one works fine. You know, we also great at gaming. We also thrive in the classroom. I think as well would be. Uh, Extraneous, I think it adds in some contexts. In other contexts, I don't have an opinion, but I, I do think that it's fine either way. My only is my brother's having in the classroom, but he's also great at gaming. I love the fact that it's a little bit different. So that's what's great about not only, but also. So let's, let's go back to just also in general. So, you know, you might want to say also. I like, I don't like using also generally when it's like a new sentence. When you're writing two sentences, like when you say, let's say you're saying, you know, he ran a mile today. Also, he, um, you know, did the dishes. It doesn't sound that good, right? You, you could say, he ran a mile today and then did the dishes. So you don't even use also. I actually like and then did the dishes because... It then emphasizes the fact that it's sequential. Right, he did this and then he did that. Right? Um, you know, um, you know, you could say he ran a mile today while also doing the dishes. No, oh, no, 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 no. Super awkward. Super awkward. I don't like it. I don't like it. 
he ran a mile today while also doing the dishes. What he was doing it, he was was doing it together. You know, he he did them at the same time. Super confusing, while also doing the dishes. Right? If you if you did something at the same time, you could say while also. Um, especially two things that are you know, it's just it seems confusing. It seems very very confusing. Um, so you could say, so let's see where I would use also. I generally would I like to use also. In the same sense, you could say he he studied for four hours this afternoon while also taking care of his little brother. You know, since his since their parents were at a show. Right, we're at a show. Makes sense. He said it for four hours this afternoon while also taking over his little brother since the parents were at a show. Um, you could bracket that out. You could take that out of the sentence and it still makes sense. He said it for four hours this afternoon while also taking care of his little brother. Because the, the implication is that if he and his bro live with their parents that their parents are gone like we don't know why they're gone or where they're gone to but we're just we're just assuming that they're probably gone um you know or sleeping you know or that or you know there, there's something going on in that in that regards where the parents aren't available to uh to take care of the uh, kids it's more presumptive it's probably more correct more often correct that the parents are gone for some reason. But if you wanted to make it super clear in this sentence, you could say that the parents were at a show. But yeah, so here you can use also. Um, you know, the only way I would use also would be if it's, it's a long sentence. So if you have a long sentence in a longish essay, you know, period. You know, then you could say also, you know, another longish sentence in a longish essay, right? Um, but if they're really short, it just doesn't sound very good. Like in, in real practice, in real practice. I mean, in an email, it's fine. Um, you know, for there's sort of a little comedic effect. You know, in, in, in certain respects, um, potentially. But I think by and large, you know, also. It's better in the same sentence, um, you know, um, yeah, so hopefully that helps. I mean, we'll probably have a, a few more videos about also. Also is a very popular word, um, connective word, um, but uh, this is just, these are just some of my uh, early thoughts about the word also. Thanks a lot.